representation matters. It matters so much. And I think in order for us to become something, we have to see it first. A lot of people think that we're stupid, that we don't have interests outside of pageants, that this is all that we do, um, and that we don't pursue other goals like higher education or um, professional careers. But I mean, I'm a lawyer. I'm a PR girl. And I'm on the dean's list. <laughs> <laughs> I always say it's like a leadership position. Mm -hmm. I think people don't know that you are at like a position of leadership where people are looking at you or people are following you. They want to know what you're doing, what you're saying. And so I think it's so important to always have impactful things to say, things that change society, you know, for the better. The person that I looked up to the most, who is very similar in age and who is also biracial, is Zendaya. Oh, and yes. because I just, I think she's such like a boss. Like she she's so empowered. And especially because I know she had a article come out, like a, a photo shoot spread come out. She saw that all the photos were very photoshopped and she told them to take it down because she didn't want like a, a false image of herself out there in the world. Cause she doesn't want girls to think like you have to Photoshop yourself to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I've always really looked up to is like the body positivity she has. I looked up to Kamala Harris, still look up to Kamala Harris, and she was like, she was, she was a boss before she became a senator for, for California. I think a lot of people tend to ask women questions about like who we're dating or, you know, when are you gonna get engaged? It's just, it, it's frustrating sometimes that you can't be just defined by your own accomplishment. She spent <clears throat> the greater part of her life focusing on her career and she's incredibly accomplished. I think my greatest hero of all times, and I speak about her a lot because I grew up reading about her, um, Harriet Tubman, after you had been in slavery, being told that you are nothing, you know, being told that you're not powerful and you cannot do this. Mm -hmm. And she goes back and she does it. And for me, if that's not like boss moves, I don't know what is. My piece of advice for black girls watching this would be to be brave. Mm -hmm. I think nowadays people want to fit you in a box People want to tell you how your life is going to be, and sometimes people will limit you by the expectations they have for you. Um, but my advice is be brave and figure out who you are and boldly be that going forward every day, regardless of what people around you are saying or expecting from you. My piece of advice would be believe in the power of time. I didn't think my black was beautiful till only a few years ago. And not even with that, with your dreams, with your aspirations, like you're gonna have to put in the hard work, but with time, everything will come. My message to black girls is that they should believe in the power of their dreams. They should believe that they are leaders in, in their own right and in every right, and they shouldn't let anyone deter them from their, from their dreams. Um, I know we grow up and people tell us to stop dreaming and to wake up and be in the real world, but our dreams can be a real world if we work super hard enough for it and to just keep inserting ourselves in spaces where we have been told we do not belong.